treasures that you reap when you see your marriage as an act of worship. The first of them is that you will not allow any of the pains and the sufferings or joys and pleasure of marriage to go to waste. What does that mean? Much like a laborer who is working long and grueling hours, say at a factory, but he is working for free. Similarly, a married man or a woman, if they don't see their marriage as an act of worship and therefore they're missing out on the correct intention, they are missing out on so many rewards and they are also working for what? <laughs> working for free. The things that you are otherwise doing as a married man and as a married woman, paying the bills and you're in care of the rent and you're cleaning the home and you're taking care of the children, you're preparing the food and you're, you're being there for the needs of your spouse, the things that you are otherwise doing, why, why do it without a reward? The suffering that comes with some of the marriages, why take that suffering for free without a And the pleasures that come with marriage, why enjoy them without a reward? And all of that can change so long as you see marriage as an act of worship.